All right, going outside now, a live look. You know, we're going to sound like a broken record yeah. here. Uh, it's same kind of picture the past few evenings, gray, cold, and snow on the way. Yes, so bundle up if you're heading out. Marcus Bailey joining us now with a three-piece suit on tonight, which usually means <laughs> things you. are getting serious in the weather. Hey, listen, if you want to borrow this, I know you really like it. He's talking like about it. it. I'm happy yeah, to think, just lend it to you jealous. for a little while. It's sharp so. looking. I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. Well, here's the thing. Three piece better at keeping me warm than two piece. There you go. It really is. Layers. Right? Layers. Layers for sure. And you need that here the next several days. The good news is, compared to where we were yesterday, we're not dealing with any accumulating snow, which for some of you, boy, an overachiever. Did we undercut that forecast for some of you? Bedford, 6.2 inches of snowfall. You're a half a foot down in Lawrence County. Columbus, not far off at 5.7. Bloomington at 4.5. Shelbyville at 4. Rushville at 2.5. Um, it was a very fine line because here in Indy, it was just a few tenths of an inch of snowfall. It was not a lot, but you get into maybe middle and southern Johnson County, then you're talking two, three, four inches of snow. So it just quickly ramped up um, in terms of snowfall accumulation for the southern half of the state. And I think we will have more snow on the way. Now, it doesn't happen tonight. We've had flurries from time to time. And it may be enough to kind of ice over the road a little bit. We will be concerned with refreeze if there's any melting that was going on with some of the treatment on the roads. We're going to get into the teens overnight. So there will be some patches of ice that you may have to contend with tomorrow morning, but we've got more snow on the way. Best chance is likely going to be on Wednesday, specifically around the metro area. We've got another round on Thursday. I've got another round on Saturday. So, man, this winter was slow to start, but we are just picking up the pace, not only with the cold, but multiple rounds of snow. And some of these will be accumulating snows as we start rolling through. So let's walk you through future cast here. Now, your Wednesday morning, there could be a few isolated snow showers already, but I don't think the main event will arrive until closer to lunchtime. So just be aware of that. If we get some snow in the morning drive, I don't think it's going to be enough or significant enough to cause major widespread issues, but be aware that there could be some snow flying around early in the morning. Here's midday. You're going to get a very thin band setting up. It looks like along and just north of the I-70 corridor lunchtime through the evening drive. So timing is going to be key here. This could make for a tricky commute home from work around the metro. This is at 4 o'clock, and then it starts to wind down a bit by mid-evening. And then I think we may get a few more bands setting up, very thin bands from time to time, overnight leading into Thursday morning before that completely moves out across our area. In terms of how much snow, I don't think it's going to be a lot here. I'm going to go 1 to 2 in this I-70 corridor area. But there could be some isolated areas, just like yesterday, that we could have some of these bursts that add up three, maybe as high as isolated four inches. So keep that in mind. Again, this is going to come during that morning drive, or afternoon drive, rather, and that's going to cause some problems. We're at 25 right now. Chills are into the teens. We'll only see highs in the Chapman Heating and Cooling 8-day forecast at 25 tomorrow, 21 Thursday, 20 on Friday cold for Valentine's Day weekend, and we will stay chilly to open up the new work week on Monday.